Hello students, this is a video for module 3416 Automation and Robotics. In this video, I will show you how an online simulator called Circuitverse can be utilized to simulate digital logic circuits. So I will put a link to the Circuitverse platform on Canvas so you can utilize it quite easily. So all we have to do is click on this link and it will bring us to this page where we can click on the simulator tab and we will be in an environment where we can design our circuits and we can get output from them. So if you see on the left hand side of the pane uh, you will be able to see a lot of different options available to you. So you have different inputs, you have different outputs, you have different gates available to you and with all of these options uh, as you scroll on top of them you are able to see what these things are so this is the AND gate OR gate NOT gate NO gate and so on and so forth so this is quite useful if uh, you somehow have forgotten what the shape looks like okay so all of these options you can utilize in your circuitry you can use these different options available to you to program or sorry to simulate your circuits so what we are going to do today is we are going to simulate uh, task number one that is available in our logic gates slide. So uh, we have already created a truth table for this task which is available right here. So this is the output based on the Boolean expression for the for y as the output. So a, b and c are our inputs. So here we have a, b and c and this is our output. Okay. Now based on these inputs 0, 0, 0 for example we should get an output of 0 or uh, based on an input of 0, 1, 0, we should get an output of 1. Okay. Now this we have created based on our knowledge and understanding of truth tables. Now, is this correct or not? That is a question that we can answer from the simulator. So that is what we are going to do now. We are going to create this circuit in the simulation environment and then we are going to simulate it to see whether we can get the same results as the truth table that we have developed down here. Okay, so let's start with this. So the very first thing that we need to know and understand are these gates. So this one right here, this is an uh, NAND gate, N-A-N-D, NAND. This one right here is a NOT gate, N-O-T, NOT gate. This one right here is an AND gate, A-N-D, AND gate. So if I come to this environment over here, the first thing I will take is I will go to gates. I will look for the very first option, which is the NAND gate. Now, as I have already told you, if you scroll over them, you would be able uh, to see which gate is what. So this one is the NAND gate. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it all the way over here and I'm going to leave it. Now, from here onwards, as you come to a point where you can see these dots, you're able to do different things with them, okay? Like for example, this is supposed to be our input, okay? So I'm going to make these as inputs. Now you can move these along as you see fit, depending upon your ease and understanding of what you are trying to do, okay? So I have just given this as, for example, in this case, it is A and B. So let's say that these are our inputs A and B, okay? The next thing that I'm going to put is the NOT gate. So this right here is the NOT gate. So I'm just going to drag it down here. Okay. Now let's go to the circuit again and let's see what we are looking at. So we need an, an AND gate as well. So let's put the AND gate here. Now as you can see, this one has two inputs. Okay. And you can change the number of inputs uh, from over here. Okay. We would have to do that for this gate because this gate right here has three inputs. Okay, We will get to that in a minute. So this gate, this AND gate is receiving three inputs, one from the NAND gate, one from your input B and one from C0 which will happen over here. Okay, So let me first and foremost change the number of inputs on this to 3. So that's done. Now I have 3 inputs over here. So I will do what the circuit has shown me. So 
I will bring this right over here. So this is connected to input number one. And then I will have this connected to B, which is this one right here. And then I will have the output of the NOT gate connected to the input number three of this AND gate. Okay, and this is another input that I have. And this is my output. Okay, now just to confirm that we have everything that we need, the NAND gate is giving an input to the AND gate. That is, let's say, input number one. And then input number two is coming from B right here and input number three is coming from C which is after the NOT gate okay one two and three so it all makes sense we have the output right here we have a b c as our inputs over here now what we have to do is we have to move to the input tab and now we are going to bring the inputs in and we are going to attach them uh, with our lines okay now if I click on this it becomes one and it becomes live so it comes on green okay so in this instance let's leave this over here let's bring another one connect this over here let's bring another one and connect this over here now these are the inputs so it is important that we use the inputs at the place of the inputs and the outputs at the place of the outputs okay you can also see the difference in where these things lie so there you go so this is our input and output okay now if i just click on anywhere I would be able to see what would be my output okay now in this case uh, based on a1 b0 and c0 I should get an output of 0 now let's confirm that with our truth table over here so 100 zero, zero, 100 zero, zero, we should be getting a 0 which is correct this is exactly what we are getting over here okay now let's change that let's try something else let's try this output where we got the output as 1 and that would be the case when we have 0 1 0 okay so let's try that let's make this 0 so all you have to do is come uh, to the bottom of this uh, input and click and you would be able to change uh, whatever uh, you have you only have two states anyways you have 0 and 1 so we have changed that so we we are looking for 0 1 0 so 0 1 0 and as you can see the output has changed to 1 okay let's try another a combination and see if it works uh, one 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 let's try this one okay if when I do one one and one as you can understand all of them will become live so here we go one 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 your output is zero okay so this simulation is proving that the truth table that we have created based on our knowledge and understanding is correct okay so you can utilize this simulator to simulate other examples as well that we have for example we have task two over here okay so this would be quite a useful tool that you can utilize uh, to simulate things and uh, if you are uncertain about something and uh, you are not sure how to go about it simulation tools are quite helpful okay to give you a very simple example in this case we had to go through uh, everything including the boolean expression uh, making sure that we get all the outputs from all the different uh, points that are coming out we then had to uh, do the truth tables for all the intermediates that are available within uh, the system and then the outputs for those intermediates and then finally we moved over here however in this case all we are looking at the inputs and the output and the circuit or the platform should I say is doing the job for us so we are able to only concentrate on the inputs these three and whatever the output that will come from it based on the circuit that we have on our hands so this is quite a useful tool that I would strongly recommend that you familiarize yourself with so that you can utilize it for other tasks as well. Thank you very much.